This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at electroplating. Electroplating involves the electrolytic coating of an object with a thin layer of metal. Here we have an example of an electrolytic cell that can be used for electroplating. The positive electrode, which is the anode, is made of impure silver, and the negative electrode, which is the cathode, is the object to be plated. The electrolyte contains the ions to be plated. So in this example, the steel spoon will be coated with a thin layer of silver. The reduction of the metal ions at the cathode leads to their deposition on the surface of the object. And here we have the equations at the anode and the cathode. At the anode, the silver metal is oxidized to form silver ions. At the cathode, the silver ions are reduced to form silver metal which is deposited on the spoon. Let's look at an example. A current of 2 amps is passed through a solution of silver nitrate for 10 minutes. Calculate the mass of silver plated on the spoon. First we use the equation Q equals IT, where I is current in amps and T is time in seconds. So we have a current of 2 amps for 10 minutes, which is 600 seconds. This gives us a charge of 1.20 times 10 to the 3 coulombs. Here we have the equation for the reaction at the cathode. The charge on the silver ion is 1 plus. Therefore, one mole of silver ions reacts with one mole of electrons to form one mole of silver metal. Next, we'll calculate the moles of silver plated. So we divide our value for Q by the charge on one mole of electrons, which is 96,000 500 coulombs. This gives us 0.0124 moles of silver. So next we'll calculate the mass of silver plated. So that's the number of moles of silver multiplied by the molar mass of silver to give us 1.34 grams.